In this video, we're going to go over creating a part from scratch using Text2CAD. If you watched the introduction to Text2CAD video, we did a really, really basic part. And in this one, we're going to do one that's a bit more complex. And rather than just say block or like do this type of extrusion, revolve, sweep, or any of the CAD functions, we're actually going to give it a named part. So something we know um, out there in the world. We're going to do a car wheel. So if I go here to generate with text again, and I'll say design a car wheel. And leaving out parameters is risky, just so you know. We're gonna give it a shot and see what it generates. And then we can always edit this afterwards. All right, this looks okay. Now, obviously that was sped up, but just know that took about 15 seconds. I hit accept. Watch it build the part. And this looks super cool. And now you can edit features through the feature tree. You can edit through KCL. If you have a good understanding of KCL or want to try it, you feel free to edit parameters as you see fit. But this is our car wheel. Another way to create a part is within the project itself. You can come up here and say, create with ZooTextAcad. So if I do this, it's gonna create a, another project within my project folder. So if I said, design a, um, a plate that's 10 inches wide and four inches long, 0.25 inches thick, place a large hole in the center is two inches in diameter. So when it comes to starting a CAD part using text to cad a lot of times I've found that it's better to, rather than try to get the entire thing all in one, is to think of the part as basic shapes first and then iterate off it. It's, you know, it's up to you as a, as a designer to do what you want. But for example, I know that I want to add more stuff to this plate. So I'm doing a basic thing first, and then I'm going to iterate. Either I can do it through KCL, I can do it through point and click, or I can do modify with ZooTextCAD. Any one of them works. So now that I have created my new part, this now exists within my project. So if I go to the project files pane, you'll see I have design a plate and the main. So this was the one I just did. And main.kcl is always the first project that's created. So when I first did the car wheel, that's going to be our main.kcl. And then all the other ones after that are going to be based off of the text prompt itself. But yeah, this has been creating your part from scratch using TextCAD. Thanks for watching.